The coronavirus pandemic, cases of the virus on the rise as the Delta variant becomes the dominant strain in the U.S. But what does this mean for South Florida? Local 10's Amy Viteri live now with what medical professionals are saying today. Amy. Well, Calvin, the news is not good. In the past month, we have seen a 125% increase in COVID hospitalizations, according to at least one infectious disease expert. Now, the vast majority of those infections are among unvaccinated people, but we are hearing of more cases of vaccinated people testing positive for the virus. And the vaccine, by the way, is still doctor's number one recommendation to prevent serious illness. Nearly every single case that we're seeing that we're hospitalizing are people who are unvaccinated. COVID cases and hospitalizations on the rise in South Florida. While the majority of those people are unvaccinated, there have been breakthrough cases in those who say they got the shot. This week alone, Miami-Dade Commission Chairman Jose Pepe Diaz and Commissioner Joel Martinez announcing they tested positive. Both men say they were fully vaccinated. He has symptoms. Um, he feels that he probably would have been much worse off had he not had the vaccine. Aid Marie Holborough says Commissioner Martinez is feeling sick, similar to the flu. Why are we seeing it? Because right now in the United States, more than 50% of our cases are from this new Delta variant. Dr. Marty says it doesn't appear to be an issue of waning immunity. Rather, the antibodies developed in vaccinated people simply work better against the original virus than the more contagious Delta variant. And that's one of the reasons that we are seeing an increase in people who are vaccinated with some symptoms. Last week, Pfizer announced it is developing an updated version of its vaccine to target the Delta variant, with clinical studies beginning in August. But as of right now, local doctors have no way of knowing if someone is infected with that strain, something they're urging the CDC to give them the tools to determine. It does make a diagnostic difference, both for the individual patient and for their community and the contact tracing to know which variant someone has. Now, the takeaway here may not be that popular after what we have been through, but Dr. Marty saying the best thing people can do right now is to try to avoid crowded indoor spaces and wear your mask if you are in a situation like that, whether or not you are vaccinated. So even people who are vaccinated, she believes should continue wearing their mask in those situations. She says it is one of the most helpful tools we have to prevent the spread and stop what we are currently seeing in our local hospitals. We're live at JMH, Amy Viteri, Local 10 News.